Hello everyone, today we are going to create a patterned leaf resist painting. And so we're gonna need a couple of things for that. We're gonna need a black crayon and some colored crayons. And then eventually we're gonna need some paint and a brush and a water cup. Now, when you get started to make your leaf, you're gonna start with a very long diagonal line. And you wanna press a little bit hard with the crayon, not so hard that we break it. We're gonna go nice and slow, make a nice long diagonal line first. Now, for the second step, we're gonna be drawing the veins on the leaf, and they come from that first line that we made. We're only doing four, and the trick is that we need to make sure that there's enough space between them. So what I like to do first is put some dots on my diagonal line so that I get them space out far enough. So the first dot I make on my diagonal line is in the middle, right there. Then I'm going to look at the middle and the end and find the space right in the middle between my fingers. So if I look between my fingers, that looks like the middle. I'm going to put a dot there. I'm going to do the same thing down here. So I'm going to put my finger on the middle dot put my finger on the end, and when I look between my fingers, I find the middle with my eyes, and I make a dot. And I need one more dot. So up at the end here, I go and I put one more dot right between that dot and the end. So now I should have four. One, two, three, four. Now I can make the line that goes out from that dot, and I wanna make it really long, not short like that. We don't want a short line. We want a long line. It should be about as long as your pinky or maybe a little longer. I'm going to do that for each dot that I made. Then I'm going to do the exact same thing on the other side now. So every time I made that dot, I have a line that goes this way and a line that goes this way. And remember, nice and long like a pinky. All right. Now after I've done that, I am going to be making the edge of my leaf. This is number four. Now when I do this, I don't want it to touch the veins. I want it to go around them, kind of like a bubble. So I'm gonna go around the vein, and then I'm gonna curl in, and I'm gonna go back out around the next vein, and curl in, and then back out, curl in, whoops, broke my crayon, out. It gets a little tough, but I gotta go around the end too, and then do the same thing on the other side. Curl in and go around the vein, and then come in and go back out. It's a wavy line, where you're basically making a wavy line around the veins. All right, now that I have done that, I am going to actually take the vein and make it go to the edge of the leaf. That way I have a space and I know where it stops. Otherwise, it just kind of keeps going around. Each of these spaces that I make are going to be a different pattern. So I gotta make sure I extend the line all the way to the edge for each vein. And then this leftover bit down here, this is my stem. All right, so now that I have my leaf drawn, I'm gonna switch to my colored crayons and I am gonna make some different colored patterns. Um, I can use any kind of line or shape to make a pattern. So I could just do a straight line over and over, as long as I repeat it, I am making a pattern. Um, I could do a wavy line, but I have to do it more than one time or it's not a pattern. I could also do a shape, so I could do circles. So each section of the leaf is getting a different pattern. And I am choosing a different color for each pattern as well. Um, we'll do a purple one over here. I'm gonna do crisscross lines. So that means that it's lines going in two different directions. It makes like a checkerboard pattern, which also looks like squares. Um, up here, I am going to draw a triangle pattern. And then I'm going to do another shape pattern. I am going to do, I think right in this one, I'm going to do squares. And I still have lots of other lines and shapes I could use. I think my next pattern is going to be zigzags. 
and make a zigzag line over and over and over again. And then I think I'm going to make a bumpy line. I'm gonna do a bumpy line next with, hmm, trying to find a color I haven't used. Um, this really light orange isn't one I've used yet. So it's bumpy. All right, so I need two more patterns. Um, I'm gonna do one with this dark blue and I am gonna make a broken line pattern. And then in the other one, I am going to make a polka dot pattern. All right, now once I've finished my patterns inside the leaf, I'm gonna do one pattern also outside the leaf. Um, and it could be just a line pattern, it could be a shape pattern. I think I'm gonna do swirls outside the leaf. So I'm gonna use this purple here and I'm gonna do swirls all the way around my leaf. And they can be different sizes. I could also do more than one color if I wanted to. So I could do a two color pattern if I wanted to outside the leaf. Um, or I could use a two lines to make a pattern. It could be like a wavy line and then a zigzag and then a wavy and then a zigzag. So that's up to you if you wanna add more than one pattern outside the leaf. But if you do it, make sure you do it all the way around. So if I wanna add, let's say, polka dots outside too, I need to do it all the way around the leaf. All right, now once I have finished my outside of the leaf pattern, which is number seven, then I'm on to number eight, and this is where I need to start painting. So when I paint, I am gonna be using my watercolors, and I'm choosing one color for inside the leaf. So I'm gonna use my water cup and my brush. I'm gonna make sure I don't have too much water, so I'm gonna wipe a little bit off on the edge. Then I'm gonna choose a color for inside my leaf. I like to choose a color that isn't already in my leaf. So I haven't really used a yellow anywhere in there, um, I also haven't used this pink color either. So one of those might be a really good choice for doing inside the leaf. I'm gonna go ahead and do this pink color. It's called magenta. Um, some also call it red violet. So I'm gonna paint and I'm gonna go nice and slow and do it around the edges first so that I'm staying inside the lines. Then after I've gone around the edges to make sure I'm staying inside the lines, I'll go back and fill in the middle. Always wanna do those edges first. I'm being very gentle with my brush, just using the tip of it. Get a little bit more water and a little bit more paint to keep going, because I was starting to run out. Now you might notice as I go over some of this crayon, it's popping back out after I paint over it. That is called resist. The crayon is resisting the paint. That means it's kind of pushing the paint off of it. And that is why we did our drawing of our patterns in crayon, so that they would show up even when we paint over them. All right, so now I've done my edge, so now I'm gonna get a little bit more water, a little bit more paint, and I am gonna fill up the middle. And I'm using the side of the brush when I do that to help spread the paint out. Now when it starts to run out, a little more water, a little more paint, and then I keep going. Little more water, little more paint, and then I keep going. You wanna be careful if you don't get water first and you're just grabbing paint, then a lot of times it'll cover up the crayon because it's the water that pushes it away. So if you're only putting paint on, your crayon might disappear. All right, now I've done the inside of my leaf, so now I'm gonna choose a different color to paint outside my leaf. I think I wanna avoid the purple color because that is already there in the pattern. So I wanna choose a color that would look different. Um, so I think I'm gonna do green outside my leaf. So I'm gonna make sure my brush is nice and clean, wipe off the extra water, and start getting some green paint. And be very careful near me, my edges on my leaf. Um, if you have time to let your leaf dry a little bit before you paint the outside, that's a good thing because then they won't mix together. Um, so then I'm just taking the green now and I'm finishing up and painting all the way to the edges of my painting. I don't wanna leave the white space there. And then I'll finish that all the way around and that'll be done. All right, I hope you have fun.